Solar 102 Installation Process In this video, we'll walk you through the installation process of a solar system. While it is good to know how solar technology works along with its benefits, it is equally important to gain a better understanding of how the system is installed. Our goal is to provide exceptional education so that you can make better investment decisions. Let's begin. Solar installation is fit for all roof types. We have experience installing solar panels on asphalt shingles, S-tiles, flat concrete tiles, flat roofs, as well as other roof types. This demonstration is based on an asphalt shingle roof type. There are two types of inverters used on solar projects, central inverter installations and micro-inverter installations. Micro-inverters are used to overcome shading issues, whereas central inverters are used in areas with zero or minimal shading. With micro-inverters, each solar panel is connected to an individual inverter, while with central inverters, all solar panels are connected to one inverter. Multi-roof installations are possible with micro-inverters, while central inverters are mainly used on single locations. Before installation begins, we measure the roof. This helps us determine the number of panels the roof area can hold. Once all reports and measurements are carefully analyzed, our engineers draft detailed drawings to ensure all installations are up to city and fire department codes. We begin by marking the areas on which the flashings will be installed. Next, we begin to locate the roof rafters. Various methods are used in finding the rafters. The rafters on which the flashings will be placed are then penetrated. The shingles are then loosened and lifted to allow room for the flashings. We then proceed by cutting a piece of the shingle on which the flashing will be tightened. To protect from leakage during rainy seasons, a special sealant is used to seal all penetrations and flashings. Next, we securely tighten and install all standoffs. The L-foots are then placed on the standoffs. These L-foots will hold the railing on which the solar panels will be placed. Next, the railings are installed on the L-foots and securely tightened. During this installation, we had to use micro-inverters in order to overcome some shading issues as well as aid in the multi-roof installation. The trunk cables are then fixed onto the rails, secured with UV zip ties or cable clips, and connected to the micro-inverter. Panels are carefully hoisted and placed in their proper positions. All panels are securely tightened by end and mid clamps. Once all the panels have been installed, our electricians begin their work in bending the EMT conduits, adding AC branch junction boxes, and running the wires from the junction boxes to the subpanel, to the performance meter, then to the AC disconnect, and finally to the main panel. Disconnects are placed both next to the main panel and on top of the roof to allow for power shutoff in case of emergencies. Turn on the system, and we're done. The entire installation process, depending on unique circumstances, takes about three to four days to complete. Allow us to help you go green. Give us the chance to examine your utility statements, inspect your property for possible solar-friendly areas, and guide you through the steps necessary to lock in rebates. Please contact us today for a free evaluation. We will assess your needs, design a system specifically fit for your property, and answer any questions you may have. Produce your own electricity, help the environment, and save money.